Namaste, namaste, and good evening, my friends. And in tonight's video, we have a special adventure back here in Kathmandu. So we're gonna be heading over to, oh, we got construction in the background. We're gonna be heading over to the Pashu Patinath Temple. All right, and we're almost to the uh, temple here. It seems like it's gonna be great when the sun completely sets. Okay. 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 Thank you, and for uh, Okay. Extra okay. for the traffic, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. Danny okay. I ended up giving him a uh, 550 because he was serious. The traffic was really bad. Actually, that took us like 30 minutes to get there. Probably would have been almost the same amount of time walking there. Yeah, so I guess we just go right through here. All right, this might be a place that we went at the wrong time because it seems like half the shops are already closed now because it's a nice big market leading up this way, but only a few stalls are actually open at this hour. All right, looks like we are getting closer to it. We got a little bonfire going on right over here. Oh, they're burning trash. Okay, so this must be it. Let's check this place out. Entrance here, brother? Entrance? Yes, yes, go, go. Donivad. Where, where do we get the tickets? Ticket to Where? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Down there? Two minutes walking? No, Donivad. No, no, okay, perfect. All right, I think this is where we get the uh, tickets. Tickets, brother? Ah, uh, Donivad, die. Namaste, namaste. Hello, good evening. Uh, how much is uh, Kateho for the ticket? 1,000, okay. How much are guides usually? I don't know, I'm going to ask him. 1,000? Yes. Where are you from? Uh, United States. California? Thank you so much. Uh, oh, California? No, Chicago. 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 Chicago Bank. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dani Abad. Where do, where do I go to start? This way or this way? This way. This way? Yeah, but okay. in temple you are not allowed and some places you cannot take photograph. No, oh, okay. you can take photograph. Oh, okay. Being from the right side. Yeah, this side enter, yeah? Don't even worry. Pashkup Temple. Alright, so this is the uh, entrance right here. It's dark in here. So especially if you can see from, from here, the dead body burning shadow money. The, yeah. Are they burning right now? Yeah, during cremation is going on. From here to there are 10 platforms. 10 platforms, 10 yeah? Platform. This side only for normal people cremating here. Okay. One dead body takes around 20,000 rupees for cremation. 20,000 rupees yeah. to cremate for someone. One dead body, is yeah. someone down there being yeah. cremated right now? Yeah, of course, yeah. On the wood, yeah, on the wood, yeah? And what? after finish, then all ashes they pushed in the river. River name is Bagmati. Badmati, Badmati, yeah. This river water goes to Ganges in India. Oh, it goes to India, yeah. Four platform used for the caste system to cremate it. Yeah. In Indian people, Nepalese people, we have got caste. Yeah. Caste totally system. Four caste, and four caste has got many smaller branches also. Okay. Yeah, for Brahmin, Chhatri versus Shudra. Shudra is lower caste, Brahmin is high caste. Okay. Yeah. And those caste system, we. Oh, Brahmin is the no, is the highest. Yeah, highest caste. They are they work inside the temple. They are priest. The priest. priest. Yeah. And they must be the... Um, they can't drink alcohol. They can't drink yeah, alcohol? Drink alcohol, yeah. Brahmin. Oh, okay. He's a Brahmin. Brahmin, okay. Yeah. He's a high caste, yeah. Brahmin. And this side for cremation, and other side, in the morning time, the people, they'll be done the, for death and for the share of mine. Once oh, okay. a year. Every year. Or once per year? For memories. Oh, for worship, memories. Yeah. Worship, yeah. Worship, yeah. With Brahmin. Brahmin teaching them how to pray. And okay. After finish the cremation and all sons must be the make a bold head. Yeah. And they need to go the clean the whole body without soap, shampoo, they can use until yeah. thirteen days. Thirteen days. Thirteen days, yeah. And they have to wear the white texture yeah. and nobody touch him. He does not touch other people. Okay. And he must be go to the quarantine one separate room. One separate room. Separate. And how long is he there? Until 13 days. 13 days? Yeah, after almost 13 days, yeah. Wow. And family uh, inviting one Brahmin, family Brahmin, yeah? Okay. And Brahmin, he must be go to their teaching how to pray every day, day after day. Yeah. And the final day, in the 13 days, family, family have to buy many things for gift for Brahmin. 
to give to the Brahmin. Yeah. So they pay 20,000 and then they also buy oh, gifts. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, they have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so the they get the gifts yeah. as well. Yeah. And what type of what types of gifts do they get the uh, Brahmin? Mm -hmm. What what kind of gifts do they give to the Brahmin? What are yeah, the yeah, gifts? Yeah. Like a beard, umbrella. Oh, even brother. television, okay. yeah. even with rich people, they will give little gold also. Oh, gold, wow. Gold also, yeah, for the brand. Yeah. And, and it's, you said 60 people are cremated per day here? Yeah, 50 to 60. Day 50 to 60. Yeah. Uh, we have a mm, electronic cremation also over there. Yeah. New, more than one. Nepali, uh, mainly Nepalese people here, also Indian people? Yeah, sometimes the Indian people, the pilgrim, they're visiting and the, they'll be dead in, in Nepal. Yeah. And that time also they can cremate here. Okay. The possible. Yeah. Even never Buddhist people also. Buddhist people also. Yeah. Also, yeah. and the time is different. The place is same. They can yeah. use these places. And this is the place for the normal people cremating. We have more two platform over there. More platforms. Two two, two platform over there. Two more. Okay. Very close from the main temple. Yeah. yeah. And so they have three of the ten over here that yeah. they're using tonight. Yeah. Or two. Tonight, any time. Yeah. And before the cremation, when they bring here new dead body, and that dead body they should be put in a sacred place. A sacred and place. Sacred yeah. place. They can do clean the dead body. Yeah, clean for dead body. Yeah. Actually, also they use for milk. For milk. milk okay. Also. So it's milk from the Shiva shower. Oh, Lord Shiva okay. shower milk comes from a small pond. And yeah. There is a anytime available those milk, and those milk they give a for dead body clean also. Oh, to clean it? Yeah. yeah. And there is places over there. We can go to see there. Okay, let's do it. So guys, a very uh, interesting um, tour through here right now. Yeah. It's, it's a bit hard place. to see. Yeah, this is place uh, we call Asram. Asram. The, Asram. the holy man, the least house, we call Asram. Asram, yeah. Asram, the holy man. Holy man. Yeah, around here, 300 holy men, they are living inside the here on the temples. 300? Yeah, wow. 200 is a holy man and holy women also here, around 100 holy men. 100. Wow. Yeah, and they live, uh, with and they live inside of these yeah, yeah. all over? Uh, yeah, all over. And they, they do the um, prayer twice a day. Twice per day, yeah. Morning and evening. Oh, this okay. is a, the evening prayer we call Arati. And how long is the prayer? Yeah, around one hour. The one hour. Is, yeah. You can be, go to close and you can take photographs. Oh, okay. Thank you. The holy man can is, can is smoke marijuana hashes. Oh, they smoke them. in there? Yeah. They can do. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they live with our family and, and they can smoke marijuana hashes. And holy suit family, they need to work. And yeah. actually marijuana makes her lazy. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And for holy man, um, if they use marijuana, the marijuana supported for the meditation. For meditation, Medical okay. Meditation, yeah. So in, in Nepal, smoking marijuana is illegal, but if you're a holy yeah. man, it's allowed? It's allowed for them, okay. yeah. Oh, wow. So this is a... Uh, how many temples are there here? Yeah, around uh, Lord Shiva's temple, Ismailo temple, around 108. 108. 108. And other God and Goddess temple also here. So many God and Goddess temple. According to the God and Goddess temple, we can be in different, different kind of the uh, worship we can do also. Yeah. So some temple can be sacrifice of animal. Oh, okay, yeah. sacrifice of yeah. animals. Chicken, dog, like buffalo, buffalo, buffalo yeah. sheep, goat. And how, goat how often do they sacrifice the animals? Yeah, over there. There's yeah. The temple for the Basla, sorry. Oh, okay, Basla, yeah. Sorry, it's the Kali temple. The Kali, Kali is a, a god, goddess of anger. Of anger, yeah. Angry. And oh, okay. uh, we believe in that. And Kali and evil, they did each other war. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Kali yeah. owned and she drunk blood of the evil. Oh, drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since that time, too, are uh, the people offering for the okay. lot of the animals. I heard about that at Pak Tupur uh, Darbar Square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, in Kali Temple, in Bhairav Temple, we can be sacrificed to Kali. Okay. And how many people come here per night? Like thousands? Yeah, four days, yeah. I mean, how is it? Visiting. Wow. Guys, it's really a sacred and special place to be visiting at this hour. I wish it was a little lighter so you guys could see this, but... Uh, sitting somehow, 
watching for the Arati. Every evening they do the um, they have a one program of the Arati of the Lord Shiva, yeah. Ganga Arati. Okay, Ganga is a river name, it's Ganga actually. Yeah. This is the head of Ganga. The head of Ganga. Ganga, yeah. In India, Ganges. Yeah. yeah. It's the head of Ganga. So and they are watching every day. Some people they came every day. Some people uh, the, around the um, once per week or came here. And they are doing also they start for cremation. Oh, okay. Place for the rich people. So oh, this is a rich person's yeah, spot right person, there. Yeah. Government takes money from the tax from the family. From the family. Yeah. yeah. And those money they use from government have to use for the helpless people who die. They will use again those money oh, okay. for the helpless people. Wow. give and take like that yeah and there's a second platform so before democracy used for the prime minister family first platform used for the royal family king family the king's Very family the this platform right here so does that mean someone from the prime minister's family just passed away recently yeah, yeah so long time ago but now later democracy who can pay extra tax for government they are oh, allowed okay. to permit, yeah. and but how much it, does this one cost yeah the, there's a only government tax is seven thousand rupees 700,000? 7,000 rupees. 7,000. Oh, okay. Only tax. In addition to the 20,000 rupee at the other place? 20,000 and they have to, these people, they have to buy a lot of the ghee, it's a butter, oh, made of yeah. the cow's milk, milk, yeah. Milk, yeah. Milk, sandalwood, they can use it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can see all of the people here crowded on the bridge as well as on the steps right there. And we have some music being played in the background. Hopefully you guys are able to hear the sound. Yeah, who is Brahmin? Who is uh, yellow, orange? Uh, he, oh, all of those down there. in the colors of red and uh, gold are Brahmin? Yeah, Brahmin. Now, one family, just every day the family, one kind of family, uh, yeah. they give uh, money for the make or organize this arati. Yeah. yeah. Family have to give milk into the mouth, a little bit. Yeah. It's nearly die person inside the mouth. Yeah? Oh, they put the milk yeah. in, the, in, in yeah. their yeah. mouth, yeah? Mouth, yeah. And when who should get drunk after death, their soul goes to directly heaven. People directly believe to that. heaven, yeah. And from the biggest hospital, doctor says not time to live longer, medicine does not work, and that time they live here. Yeah. Some steep stairs to go up right here. Holy ah. here, and holy man there lives inside the cave. Holy man lives here inside the cave, yeah? Also How many cave homes are there? Yeah, almost uh, there is a um, five, five to seven. Five to caves, seven caves, caves yeah. There, and different different names of caves also there. Yeah. In the daytime when you visit there, you can also you, if you want you can be, do meditation. Oh, you can visit. Yeah, visit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Visit. So this goes on 24 hours per day. Oh uh, yeah, they'll be start soon as soon and around one hour they do like this program for one full hour. Classical, yeah? classical. Uh, music program also. Yes, Classical yeah. music program. Yeah, Arati, we call Arati. Yes. Oh, okay, wow. Well. So in one hour or for one hour? Uh, about one hour. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so here we can see that the main... Pashupati Mahal. Pashupati Mahal. Pashupati Mahal. Pashupati Mahal. Pashupati Mahal. Pure silver door. Pure silver door. He's also holy man. Namaste. So, so basically there's only, there's four Brahmins from four India. Brahmins. Yeah, from India. Who they live uh, around the temple houses yeah. with family yeah. and they have to go the twice a day. Twice per day, yeah? Twice a day, yeah. And how much time do they spend in there? Yeah, they're almost uh, in the morning time, they spend around uh, three or four hours. Three or four hours. And evening also two hours about. Okay. Yeah, they spend there. And only the Brahmin, they can touch that statue of Lord Shiva. Inside. Okay. The yeah, other people they can visit inside the temple. They need to take out shoes from outside. Yeah. They can go and they can visit around the temple. They can go the first door from the yeah. temple and they can see again the last door of the temple. And in front of the last door, they can stand. They can beg blessing from the Lord Shiva, but nobody on touch that stage. Yeah. Nobody can. Yeah. yeah. Ganesh. And Garuda. Garuda, the vehicle of Lord Vishnu. Garuda? Garuda. Garuda. And you Perfect. can take a taxi anytime over there. And you bought ticket, those money goes to the temple. The temple, yeah? Yeah, not for me. Yeah, yeah. And that I make a happy for tourists and tourists they make a happy me as well. Perfect. Uh, what do you charge? Yeah, yeah. How much? If you're really happy, you give a night time. You give twenty dollars about twenty. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot for uh, thirty yes. minutes. And just uh, this is a uh, only uh, one time is the help. Yeah. 
Uh, $20 is a bit more than I thought I would be paying for 30 minutes. So that's $40 per hour then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much you give for that? I was going to give you a 1000 It's okay, no problem. Yeah? Okay, okay. Uh, well, I mean, what's fair to you? Yeah. Everyone gives you 1000 Or how much do people give you usually? Usually, the normal they give 1000 or so. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I get the 2000 3000 4000 Some people take us from the $50, $100. But with the, the tourists, how much they want to give from yeah. heart, we must be take. Okay. That, All right. That much. Uh, then how's 2000 <laughs> Okay. 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 Me and God gives you. I hope that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dhani Avad, my friend. Your good name? My name is Vishnu. Vishnu? Yeah, I'm Vishnu and you? I'm uh, Mac. Yeah. Nice to meet Actually, you. From where, which country are you from? United States. United States. Yeah. Many, many people, they work in yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of visitors from there. Okay, have a nice All right, day. thank you very much for your time. All right, so that was a nice tour. I gave him a 2000 which is about $14. I think that was a fair price. He was, uh, he was a nice guy. He was like, I'll be happy with whatever you take. And he was very honest with me what people pay. Sometimes $1,000, sometimes $2,000, sometimes $25, sometimes $50. Uh, but it was like 30 minutes, so I think 2000 was more than fair. Uh, but he knew his stuff, so yeah, guys, this is a really cool experience unfortunately since it's so dark out here it's probably a bit challenging for you guys to be able to see what's going on um, but the place is uh, cremating 24 hours per day so at any moment you're coming here if there is a body being to, to be cremated you'll you'll be able to see what this experience is like and so right now I believe they have the ceremony <laughs> So it's a really beautiful uh, experience to see this here. As you can see, there are so many people all around here. There's got to be like five, six, seven, maybe 10,000 people. I'm just guessing here. And then up on top of the uh, temple, there's a bunch of monkeys you can see. Sometimes just the silhouette of them all on top of the temples uh, right over there. And they have basically, uh, I think maybe that's oil fire. Um, lit by like a candle oil maybe and they're all along here and as you can see it, it, the uh, ceremony includes everyone everyone's involved there's clapping there's some shouting and uh, it's a really really beautiful ceremony that is uh, one of the benefits of coming here at night is to be able to see this type there we go to see this type of experience right now that I'm not sure if you'll get the same type of feel during the day or if they do something like this because obviously at night with the fire it kind of lights up the sky the candles are lighting up or not the candles but the uh, fire along here lights up this side and you know you have that like smoky feeling going right over the temples there so I'm sure it's a whole different experience and, and a really cool and amazing experience to experience during the day as well. But now I'm glad that I'm much happier that I came at night because at first I was like, uh oh, you guys subscribing might not be able to see everything that's going on. But in these main lit areas, uh, you can see things very clearly and experience such a beautiful um, evening. So that was a uh, very beautiful experience to go on in there. We're going to see if we can go to the other side. I think our guide was telling us that there's certain parts that uh, we won't be able to go inside of. But um, we'll walk over and see what we are allowed to enter into. So it looks like right over here, we've got some fresh roasted nuts going on. And let's see if we're allowed to enter into here. Oh, it might be closed now. Oh, there's monkeys fighting over there. Gotta watch out for some of these monkeys. It seems like they're moody tonight. They're over there uh, brawling each other. There are a lot of monkeys over here. I feel like this isn't the place to be. Oh, 
Look, so there's no other humans over here. I'm, I feel like these monkeys are going to attack. Oh, uh oh. Look like there's about to be a fight. Oh, he's going after him. <laughs> oh, he's messing with him. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, jeez. You don't want to get caught in between this. Oh, he's chasing. The big one's chasing the little babies. Hello, namaste. Oh, wow. There are so many monkeys over here. Wow, look at this temple from this side. It's lit up so beautifully. You can just hear all the monkeys getting into a fight behind. It's a massive, massive set of temples over here. Very beautifully lit up at night. I'm very happy now, like I said already, that I came at night to check this place to explore it and see. Look at this. So much detail into everything. Very colorful architecture and design and art. It's a very beautiful moment to see this. Then, oh, no photo or camera inside there. There's monkeys inside. These monkeys are messing. Look at this big one right there. I get nervous going near the uh, monkeys. Oh, look at this guy. I'm not sure what he's up to. Oh, this monkey's trying to climb the wall right here. That's some monkey business. They're cute little things, but they're aggressive here. Oh, there's a little baby. You don't want to go near the babies because then they get protective. Oh, and they're all in like little tribes here. <laughs> Look at the little ones, so cute. Oh, they're chowing down right there. Enjoy. Hello, what's up? Namaste, bro. Hey. I think they all yelled, die. That means I'm the older bro. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Love the culture in Nepal. All right, and we are exiting this area. I think we're gonna take a right here, see what we can find down this way. Sounds like there's maybe some sort of performance or ceremony going on. Right inside of here. Places and the colorful, I don't know if those are spices or incense or something, but they're all over this area. Yeah, and they're just such a vibrant set of colors there, it's very attractive. If you want to come into the store and check it out? Oh, they've got some fresh rings there. Oh, looks like it's chow time over here. Namaste. Namaste. Good food here? Huh? What type of food? No food, only sweet. Oh, only sweets. Yeah. Oh, Meal pudding. Okay. Good sweets? Yeah. Yeah? Should I taste should I try some? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. This is your shop? Yeah? Your shop? Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Fusul Gunam? Fusul Gunam. Fusul Gunam Paspati Mithai. Oh nice to meet you. My name's Mac. Okay, so what do we think here is going to be the good stuff to try out? What do you recommend? Yeah, very nice. Oh, okay, wow. I like chum chum. I'm thinking maybe try something a little smaller, like a couple of these. What are those? Yeah. Yeah. Let's taste them. Yeah. Milk for them, only milk for them. Okay, only milk there, yeah. And what do we have down there? Sweets also? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, lots of lots of good ones as well as, as well as some ice cream there. Okay, let's try some. Yeah. 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 This. Uh, I think uh, some of these down here. This one. Yeah. Some some one of each. Yeah. Uh, one of each. One 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 one. Danivad. 
Where you come from? Uh, United States, America. America. And you? India. India. What's your name? Alianjan. Alianjan. My name is Mac. Nice to meet you. Thank what part of India? Delhi. Delhi. Okay, very nice. I've been to Delhi quite a few times. We've got a lot of different treats we're going to be trying out. Yo. Peda. Peda. And that one is the last one. So, Peda. 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 Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Kate ho dai. Alright, so we're weighing up the full box. And then but just sweets. 400? Change? Uh our good man here. Namaste. 400. Yep. Yeah. Danevad, these are it right here. Okay. All right, well, should probably go ahead and test them out then, yeah? Okay, okay. Any more? Any more? Danevad buys up. All right, so we skipped dinner tonight, but uh, that's okay because we've got a, a nice box full of sweets. So 400 is about, uh, in US dollars, uh, $2.80, almost $3 for this full big box of one of each sweets. So I have no idea what I'm expecting to taste in each one, but we're gonna try them out. I think I wanna try this cookie first. Mmm. Very rich in flavor. It almost reminds me of like slightly cooked dough. That's probably what it is. Mmm. It's got like a almost like a lightly sweet cookie dough flavor to it. That's probably the best way to explain it. And then this intense looking thing right here. There's pepper in there, almonds. Or maybe that's not a pepper, it looks like a pepper. This one tastes like there's a, almost like a, I can't even figure out the flavor. Like a sugar cookie? That's a bit milky. Mm -hmm. And this one, it looks like there's coconut flakes on it. Maybe pistachio shavings. Mmm. Oh, I think this one's my favorite so far. I don't have anything to easily relate it to. But this one's for sure number one. We've got a couple balls in here we're gonna have to try. Whoa. The outer layer is like coated with sugar, so you take a bite and all the sugar just falls right into your mouth. This one tastes more like a cookie, like a sugar cookie that's cooked in the shape of a ball. And then basically like after it's cooked, rolled around in some sort of like grainy sugar. Very nice flavor. And then, I don't think we've had this one. It's got like a lychee type flavor. Pretty good, pretty good. This one right here. Looks maybe like it's got like nuts in it or cinnamon ball. Mm. Guys, unfortunately, the last like two minutes, uh, the camera actually did not record. I'm having some issues with this GoPro, but uh, really delicious Nepalese desserts here. Daniyavad, Daniyavad Dai. Thank you very much. Very delicious. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I'll be back again for more. Okay. Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, Pokhara. Yeah. When I come back from Pokhara, I'm back here. Dani Dai. Okay, bye. Oh, maybe in a bit, brother. He laughed. He's like, I've heard that response before. But yeah, guys, uh, unfortunately, there's something going on with my GoPro. So, like, I was filming the whole sweets thing, and then the battery died, and then I restarted recording. And it recorded for one second and shut itself off. So, uh, anyways, though, that yellow one that I had, that one was my favorite. That one was the most tasty. And I got so many desserts, I've got a lot of food for later. So it's been fun checking out this area. 
It's a much different side of Kathmandu than I've uh, seen so far. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. How are you friend? Uh, are good, you and you? How are you? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, America. And you? Are you a blogger? Blogger, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you a future subscriber? Where are you from America? Yeah, of course. Oh, Danivad, Danivad. 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 That's World Nomad. No, you don't. Back. YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know to ban. Where are you from? Donny United States. United States. United States. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. You're from Kathmandu? Yeah, yes, I'm from Kathmandu. Love this city. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Donny Avad. Only Kathmandu, Bijar, or Pokhara tomorrow. Pokhara. Yeah, Pokhara is a nice one, yeah? And I've been to Nagra Court. You, like, you went to Lakeside or not? Uh, I go to Pokhara tomorrow. Pokhara, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have to visit Pokhara, Saran Court. Saran Court, yeah. Then we side. A lot of then good things to do, yeah. Next side, nightlife is rock. Oh, okay, Pokhara. sweet. So, like Catman, do that. Paragliding. Yeah. Oh, paragliding, bungee jump, yeah, zip, bungee line. jump zip line. Zip line. Yeah, yeah all, all the good stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sweet. Okay. <laughs> Donny Vod, okay. nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Donny Vod, brother. Yeah, thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate it. Hello, brother. Namaste. Cut. Be away from fraud peoples, okay? Hey, what? Be away from fraud peoples. Yeah, thank you so much, brother. Okay. Namaste. Uh, Which part? Going to Tamil? Which part? Yes, yes. Tamil? No. No, no Tamil? Uh, Kati Ho, Dai? Hamil. Tamil. 700. 700. Uh, yes. I, it was 500 to get here during rush hour. No question. Okay, no problem. I'll look for someone 600 else. 600 rupees, okay? 500 is what I paid to get here. This side coming east here. This side go one by and jig jam. Right, I'll, I'll see okay. if I, I'll come back if I can't find anyone for uh, 500. 600, very normal price. Yeah. Deal? If I, if I can't find, I'll come back, all right? Done about okay. Meruna Mon Lama. Molama, Meruna Mac. 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 Which country house? Uh, United States. Excuse me? America. America. Oh. Yeah. Number one country. Oh, thank you. Nepal number one. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a quick stop over here for fuel. So it looks like it's 181 rupees per liter, which is about one dollar, I would say, per liter. All right, and our guy got uh, 1,700. He's putting in, so almost 10 liters. Tamil? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get the cash in here. All right, Donny Vod, die 600. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, after we stopped at the gas station, I saw how much fuel was. You know, he just spent like 1500 on the fuel. So I figured I'd give him the original 600 that he asked for. That was a uh, very, very uh, culturally uh, beautiful ceremony to be able to see tonight. Really hope you guys enjoyed coming with me over there. And uh, thanks for those of you that lasted through the video. I know some of the parts were super dark and our tour guide was talking very quietly, even though I kept telling him to uh, speak a little bit louder. So uh, hopefully you can understand most of it. If you're coming to uh, Kathmandu, I would definitely recommend you stop by and uh, take part in the uh, ceremony. See how it happens and um, you will be amazed by the beauty and the culture and the religion. So thank you guys so much for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one.